Picture this. A wizard wraps up a long day full of making potions and spells for the busy village. It's 5 p.m. and clock out time. It was a good day's work and the wizard is beyond tired. He just can't wait to sit back, dig into a frosty mug of frog juice, and read his new favorite tome of spells. But as he steps outside the potion shop, he is shocked. There's been an accident and traffic is a nightmare. Suddenly, it dawns on him. Why drive his sports car into hours of traffic when he could just use the spell of teleportation? And just like that, he's home. A famous quote notes, necessity is the mother of invention. And the invention of cars has no use to a wizard who can travel magically. So while regular non-magical humans sit gridlocked in highway traffic, the wizard gets to relax after a long day thanks to his magic. It's no wonder that a wizard in a magical world would choose magic over technology. Now, I know what you're going to say, but Ron uses a car to save Harry from his aunt and uncle's house in the second Harry Potter book. True, but A, the car was magical, and more importantly B, the car is owned by Ron's father, Arthur, who studies muggle objects. For the wizarding world, things like travel, entertainment, and weaponry have been solved in elegant, magical ways. But if technology's been replaced by magic, does it still have a role to play in fantasy? Technology serves an interesting purpose in fantasy worlds. For some worlds, technology is a curiosity. But in other magical worlds, technology can also serve as an equalizer for non-magical beings. Traditionally, magic is individualistic. You're usually born with the ability to tap into it or are taught it. It's a gift. Meanwhile, technology enables anyone to achieve amazing feats. Need to get from one side of the country to the other, but no magical teleportation spell? Tech Air will get you there. Technology represents a powerful tool for the common man. It allows the peasant to go up against the magical king. Technology usually represents power. Thematically, it's more common for the villain to use technology as a way of gaining power. This is a great juxtaposition to the protagonist, who usually gains power from an inherent strength that the hero's journey reveals. Technology is a great storytelling tool for a hero to fight against. This is the prime theme of the Lord of the Rings series. Power sought through external means, in this case, the One Ring, ends up corrupting. Frodo's power lies in the strength of his character, not through external means. While the One Ring as a piece of technology is a bit of a stretch, Sauron also seeks power through other technological advancements. The conflict of Mordor versus the other kingdoms of Middle-earth is actually a conflict of technology. Isengard is an industrial city. The aesthetic can be described as hot steel, complete with lava, gears, and other goth fashion items. Meanwhile, the rest of Middle-earth is stuck within a simpler time, reflective of the real-life Middle Ages. The Shire is a prime example of a pastoral ideal. Technology has advanced to the extent of water wheels and not much else. It's a happy, simpler place. The Shire feels much more connected to nature, while Isengard is literally taking part in modernization in the form of deforestation. One of the main conflicts in the Two Towers relates to this deforestation, when the trees literally begin to fight back as Ents. Technology often appears as a power grab by a villain, and the heroes usually need to connect with both their internal abilities or the natural world to fight against it. This technology versus nature theme is present in a great deal of fantasy work. Magic is usually some sort of natural force in the world. Meanwhile, technology and all of the messy problems advancement causes presents a deep threat to nature. So why is this theme so common? It definitely speaks to the nature of fantasy as an escape from our own world. People read fantasy to be transported to another world. These other worlds contain a yearning for the past. It was a simpler time, swords, kingdoms, rolling hills, and farm folk. In simple terms, fantasy is a nostalgic medium. Nostalgia, as one can see by modern reboot pop culture, is a powerful emotion. Modernization can be a scary thing to some. Fantasy offers the ability to shed all the complexities of the internet 
and allow readers to settle into the good old days. But this doesn't mean that there aren't more progressive options for fantasy out there. Howl's Moving Castle is a perfect example of the loving combination of technology and magic. Released in 1986 by Diana Wynne-Jones, the book follows the story of the titular Howl, a fickle wizard who captains a mechanical moving castle powered by magic. This story would later be adapted to film by legend of animation and one of the greatest people to have ever lived, Hayao Miyazaki. Miyazaki would take the themes of nature, magic, and technology working hand-in-hand -hand much further, as nature always plays an extremely large part in any of Studio Ghibli's works. The film never draws a distinction between magic and technology. All of it is treated with wonder, and all of it lives harmoniously with the natural world. It never feels like these concepts are at odds with each other, nor does it feel like nostalgia is hampering the idea of progress. Hal puts forth the idea that maybe technology and magic can live side by side, as both are two sides of the same wondrous coin. Technology is defined by its advancement. In our world, technology offers new options in what is possible. We can achieve amazing feats through the use of our cell phones or our computers or our smart vehicles. There is a lot of magic to be found in the things we use every single day. Authors tend to use the magical elements in magic to help guide us towards a sense of wonder. And that wonder can be found in our real world. Maybe, instead of reveling in the nostalgic days of old, we treat our technology with the same amount of wonder. After all, without advancements of technology, we wouldn't be able to share our love for fantasy. And that would truly be a shame. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know what your favorite examples of technology in a fantasy setting are in the comments below.